Hello, today I'm going to talk about Wilcoxon Sign Rank Test. Wilcoxon Sign Rank Test is a non-parametric procedure that are available for making inference about a location parameter or population measure of central tendency. Our learning outcome for today is to test hypothesis using Wilcoxon Sign Rank Test. To use Wilcoxon procedure, we first rank the differences in order of absolute size. Second, we assign the original sign of the differences to the rank and compute two sums. First, the sum of the rank with negative signs and second, the sum of the rank with positive sign. The, the, the assumption for Wilcoxon sign rank test. One, the sample available for analysis is a random sample of size n from a population with unknown median m. 2. The variable of interest is continuous. 3. The sample population is symmetric. 4. The scale of measurement is at least interval. And lastly, the observations are independent. These are the hypotheses for Wilcoxon. There are three cases that we should know. For case A, the in Heshna, the median is equal to the hypothesis median, and in H1, the median is not equal to the hypothesis median. For case B, Heshna, the median is greater or equal to the hypothesis median. H1, the median is less than the hypothesis median. For case C, Heshna, the median is less or equal to the hypothesis median while in H1, the median is larger than the hypothesis median. To obtain the statistic, we use the following procedure. First, we subtract the hypothesis median from each sample measurement. We use this formula to compute that where di is the difference of the xi of which is sample measurement minus with m0 which is hypothesis median. We eliminate the sample if the sample measurement xi is equal to the hypothesis median m0. Hence, the sample size will be reduced to. Third, we rank the difference from the smallest to the largest without regard to the sign. In other words, we rank the absolute values of the differences. After that, if two or more differences are numerically equal, we assign each one of the mean of the rank which they jointly occupy. Next, we assign to, the, to each rank the sign of the difference of which it is ranked. After that, we obtain the sum of the rank. If the sum of the positive sign, we call it T positive, while if the sum for the negative sign, we call it T negative, or else we can obtain the other sums if we have one of the sums. The formula to calculate the other sums is T positive equal to n times n plus 1 in bracket over 2 all bracket minus t negative. These are the test statistics in each hypothesis. For case A, we take test statistic either t positive or t negative for which is smaller. For case B, we take test statistic of T positive, while in case C, we take T statistic of T negative. Decision rule. We get the critical value of the test statistic for the Wilcoxon sign rank test from table A.3. From table A.3, we enter N and our calculated value of T into the table and find tabulated P. Because it is total case, we time with 2. If tabulated P associated with our calculated T 
is less than or equal to our stated level of significance, we reject hashna. In other words, we reject hashna if our value of 2p is less or equal than our alpha. For case B, we find tabulated T in table A.3 and we compare our tabulated P with our calculated T plus with alpha. We reject hashna if it is less than or equal to alpha. For case C, after we find tabulated T in table A.3, we compare our tabulated P with our calculated T negative with alpha. Reject hashna if it is less than or equal to alpha. Now we look at example 1. In a study of a drug abuse in suburban area, investigators found that the median IQ of arrested abusers who were 16 years of age or older was 107. Suppose that a researcher wishes to know whether to conclude that the median IQ of arrested abusers who are 16 or older in another suburban area is different from 107. Table 1.1 shows the IQs of a random sample of 15% for the population of interest. What can we suggest conclude? Let alpha be 0 0.05. Table 0.1. Table 1.1. The IQs of persons 16 or older arrested for drug abuse in certain suburban area. For the equation, we get that the N is equal to 15 and median is 107. The hypothesis for this question is hashna m is equal to 107. Hash1 m is not equal to 107. The claim is at the hash1. Next is we compute the test statistic. The calculation for obtaining the test statistic are summarized in table 1.2. The first column is the score column. And the second column is the difference of the measurement sample minus with the hypothesis median. After we get the difference, we then rank the absolute we then rank the absolute difference regard to the sign. Here we notice that at the score, there is one value that is the same with our uh, value of median. Thus, we eliminate it from the calculation and reduce the sample accordingly. If our previous exam, if our previous n is equal to 15, now our new n will be 14. Then we calculate the sum of the rank with positive with t positive and sum of the rank with t negative. The t positive is equal to 64.5 while the t negative is equal to 40.5. Since t negative is equal to t positive, the test statistic for this example is t equal to 40.5. We eliminate the sample size analysis and thus our new sample size is n equal to 14. We then enter our calculated value of t into table a 3 Since our calculated value of t of 40.5 is between the tabulated values of 40 and 41, we take both of the value. The value of 40.5 is between 40 and 41, so we take both of this value. Since this is the two-tail case, we multiply each of these with 2. Thus, the value for this test is between 2 times 0 0.2316 and 2 times 0 0.2508. Since both of the two p value is more than alpha equal to 0 0.05, so we do not reject hashna. 
Therefore, the conclusion is there is not enough evidence to support the claim that the million IQ or arrested abuser who are 16 or older in another suburban area is different from 107. These are the exercises that you can try. Exercise 1. 